Hi there, welcome to another session of SSRS step by step course. So we have already created our first project and now we are going to create our first report. So in order to create our first report, as we know that we have already configured our database. So let me quickly show you. This is the employee table and we have this employee data. We have added the sample data and then we have this my first DB would our first database uh, which we have created from scratch and our uh, only table which is employee table which ha we have created from scratch and we have added the sample data in our uh, previous sessions so now what i'm going to do is uh, this is our this is our first uh, ssis project i'm going to create a new report so uh, in order to create a new report you have to just right click and click on add new report also uh, you can add existing report or if you want to create a new item then you can create a new item so let me quickly show you how this new item works if you click on a new item you have to select what new item do you want do you want a wizard or report or data source or data set so uh, similarly it will ask for you because we want the report so we you know simply click on that that we want a report so uh, let's put our first report name like first report and add it so once you click on add so what it will do it will take some time and it will create the first report for you so here you can see first report dot rdl so the extension for the reports would be rdl and the similar similarly you can see the uh, name has been added under this folder which is first report dot rdl so rdl stand for a report definition language and it is just in, it is the extension for ssrs reports and this is the design pane here you can see this is the design pane also this is called report data so report data is, uh, holds uh, all of the important information for this report for example which data source this report is using which data set this report is using what if there's an image associated in this report or not that will come under this folder if there's a parameters for this report or uh, if you want like report parameter or maybe a generic global parameter so when, he, when i talk about global parameter for example uh, processing time or execution time or current date these are the global parameters uh, when i talk about report parameters so report parameter would be like any of the parameter on based of uh, what you can fill you want to filter your reports all right so uh, for the parameter we will discuss in detail in our next uh, other session in the series uh, moving forward however for this i just want to create a first report and i want to show you what all the steps need to be taken care so this is how you can create your first report now the second step would be to create the data source so oh one more thing we need to cover like build-in uh, fields so build-in fields these are the fields which is automatically uh, a function provided by ssrs itself so you need not to uh, write uh, code for it because for example it's a page number so if you take that field and you know put it into your reports it will automatically generate the page number for you okay so uh, uh, because the report can't be can be uh, basically uh, expanded to multiple pages so uh, this is helpful in that scenario if you have multiple pa multi page reports so this is very helpful uh, similarly you have execution time language overall page to total number of pages page name and so on and so forth so you can do that so let's come back to our uh, step number two which is data source so let's connect our data source because we already have our database ready so click on uh, right click first you have to right click on data source and click on add data source so here you can see you have to first uh, it is asking for a name so uh, let's say you can give your name like uh, uh, my uh, data source okay so now it will ask for which type of data source do you want to connect so because we have sql server uh, we will go with the sql server however there are a lot of uh, options available so here you have sql server azure you have uh, pa sql parallel warehouse uh, you have oladb where you can um, connect with the excel file as well so analysis services in case if you have cubes or uh, if you want to uh, connect with cubes like for example fact tables or measures uh, then oracle odbc xml similarly you have multiple data sets uh, data sources here so uh, we are going to select uh, microsoft sql server for uh, this uh, report and similarly we click on edit so uh, we want to connect it with our uh, service so uh, click on uh, this drop down it will automatically pick the server name so uh, just give it few seconds because it will take some time to you know go back to your sql server and search for uh, the available uh, server name we have only one server so here it is we have this server already with us so as soon as you will uh, access this server uh, this drop down will get enabled now you can see you have two options windows uh, authentication and sql server authentication so uh, 
by default you should go with windows authentication in case if you have username and password ready for you because if you work in big projects so they will have this sql uh, authentication already set up and every user will have their own uh, credentials so at that point you can use sql server authentication but right now there's no required for that but we uh, are going with the user windows authentication because this is my personal laptop and uh, this is my system and uh, nobody else should uh, you know uh, there's no login creator for that so uh, that's it so now we have to select the database from which database we want to select it so here as as soon as you click on drop down it will expand this and here uh, this is my first db is the uh, database which we want to connect it and similarly you can test your connection so click on test and successfully you have connected so it said test connection succeeded so that's good news so uh, our connection is ready now click on ok and that's it we have uh, so credentials are uh, second option so you can also pass your credential from here so need not to do that uh, each time if you want your report should ask for credential then you can select this option and if you do not want at all this credentials to be used so you can click on that mostly this is used in excel file or something so when you use excel file so that's it so we are ready we click on ok and here you can see my data source has been connected now the second step a third step would be adding a data set so right click on this and add a data set so once you are adding a data set it will ask for the name so for example uh, i'll get ds ds stand for data set underscore main so i'm saying this is my main data set and uh, so it asks for do you want to share uh, use the share data set for example share data set will uh, lie under this folder share data set over here but we don't have any share data set so we want to create our own local data set by scratch from scratch so click on this option so if you want to create that it will ask for the data source you can click, click the data source and similarly you want to you know get the data so this is where you will write the query uh, so there's three option uh, either text table or store procedure since we are creating our own data set so table is not available this is available when we have wizard option uh, if you want to go with wizard then uh, we have two option uh, available text and store procedure store procedure is something which is totally related to the SQL, which is a kind of a, a, a program which we have already written in the SQL Server database and already stored. Uh, we'll take up that later. However, we'll go with the option called text and we'll click on query designer. Here we will we will design our query. We have to write a query from scratch. So you can automatically select the query from this wizard, like select from, from which table, so you can do that. But what I will going to do, I'm going to do everything from scratch. So uh, click on edit at text, and here you can write simple, uh, same query what we have written in our uh, SQL, which is select star from employee. And this is the execute button. If I click on this, it get executed and see, we get on all the data what we have entered. So this is exactly what is we have in our database. This is one. So perfect we have done this and this is completed now we click on ok and then ok again and here you can see that these fields are available so we are ready to design our first report this is all about how to create our first report so now in our next session we'll see how to design a report and how to present the numbers on the report okay till then take care and i'll see you in the next session bye